What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about having a game plan in uh, Smash on a uh, basic level. So, first of all, what I mean when I say having a game plan, that should be kind of obvious, but it's when you go into a match and you have a way you expect to play, like a win condition, a lose condition, how you expect to play neutral, where you're going to use a lot, where you're not going to use much, and how you think it interacts with your opponent's kit. And that's actually key to this, is understanding how to interact with your opponent's kit, so you know how exactly to play. So, I'm going to take an example, and I could be completely wrong here, but this is just an example of how I would kind of build a game plan in a Wolf or Sheik, if I was a Wolf player. So, my my mentality would be, alright, going to Wolf or Sheik, I am, we both combo heavy characters, that also get combo very easily, with pretty lightweight characters, um, Wolf is pretty easy to edge guard. But Sheik is just extremely easy to kill, flat out. Um, I can probably out camp Sheik with lasers. She's a lot faster than me by bigger hitboxes. And so going to this match, and my mentality ends up being, all right, as a game plan, I should probably look to laser camp a lot. Because she's just going to camp this part when she's using needles. And she has to get up close probably, so that's ready to keep her away. Look to trade a lot because my individual hits should do a lot more than hers. And I can probably convert into combos pretty easily off trading hits. Also, look for my greedy combo starters. I can't really outfit here because she's so much faster than the better frame data. But I do a lot more damage and kill a lot earlier than her. So, getting grab starters, getting fall aerials into grabs. Um, really, just anything to get combos in the first place should be really good. And finally, look to fish for kills, I'd say, when she's near the ledge because she's really lightweight, easy to kill. Um,. I'm not too afraid of getting reversal by her. Like I don't think she's gonna kill me mid stage off like me missing a ledge trap. And finally, look to be center stage more because I'm pretty easy edge guard and she's very good at edge guarding. But her juggling game is, at least in my mind, probably not that great. So, as you see, that's kind of how I build a game plan, and it's really important to build something like this. Nothing too complex. You know, I'm not going interactions of like, hey, you know, back here. Outranges forward air, especially space like this. Like, you can do that, and that's good. We want to get more in depth, but just building the basics, fundamentals is extremely important. And then, obviously, you should try to understand what your opponent wants to do as well on a similar level. I kind of went into that being understanding that hey, from the sheet perspective, they probably want to get a lot of combos on me, they probably want to edge guard me, they probably don't want to deal with my lasers, so they might put a lot of pressure on me. And they probably use much needles, or they do, they learn bad. Just understand that's very important. And then, finally, when it comes to game plans on basic level, understand how the match is playing out, how it's deviating from it, right? And it's actually a lot easier than you think when you have a kind of game plan in mind, how you expect the match to go. If you expect, you know, you get camped by Cheek and suddenly she's out camping you with needles and your lasers are using her needles in the trees. And she's bouncing fishing your lasers so you actually cannot play, like, laser heavy. You know, understand that, wait. I saw you use all lasers and it's not working. Or, you know, opposite uh, spectrum of things is when your thing is working, recognize, hey, the laser camping is working as I expect. Let's keep doing it. And, yeah, it sounds pretty simple. And honestly, it is not easy to execute in a match, but that's just like a, a core to build on. And as you practice doing this, executing it in match, and getting faster and faster at it, because, yeah, at first, going to try this, go into a match like online. And be like, oh shoot, what am I supposed to do? Uh, grab, maybe? And then you start realizing, oh, okay, after the match, you know, I was supposed to do this. Or my idea was correct. And then you start getting more experience with it, it gets even faster and easier to do this. So, yeah. That's uh, all I have for today. Hope this uh, video was helpful for you guys. And, um, like always, if you like these videos, then feel free to follow this channel. Feel free to check me out on Twitch and support me there. And, uh, 